Hey guys, welcome aboard Adventure of the Seas. Cruising with JT here and today I'm super excited to take you on an amazing ship tour. Let's go ahead and get this started. And be sure to hit that like button everyone and if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel and also enable those notifications. All right, here we go guys. We're going to start on the upper pool deck area and just do a quick walk around the jogging track and kind of show you what this uh, amazing ship is all about. Um, one thing you'll notice here that you have the nice little splash away area here for the kids. Um, this ship was recently refurbished, actually five years ago uh, in 2018, right? So got a couple of upgrades. It hasn't been through the full amplification like some other ships have, but uh, you know, they did make some upgrades to this ship, which also adding the perfect storm water slides, this nice little splash away bay area for the kiddos. Um, but yeah, this is an amazing ship. So let's keep going around here, guys. Let's take a nice little walk around the track. Uh, we are currently in St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands, and as you can see, it's a beautiful day, very hot, very humid, and it's windy as well, so hopefully my microphone is doing its thing. If you guys hear any wind noise, <laughs> that's, that's, you know, hopefully the microphone is helping out with that. But yeah, guys, like I said, we got this jogging track that wraps around this entire pool deck here. Uh, as you can tell, there's not many folks on right now because it's a port day, everyone's off the ship exploring and adventuring. Again, look at this, we got the... The Blue Moon Lounge right there, which will go up there in just a second. Again, that used to be called the Viking Crown Lounge, for folks who might remember. But yeah, so this is a Voyager class ship. All Voyager class ships are very, very similar, but they're absolutely beautiful. So yeah, we're going to go here to the left, which is the Sky Bar. Now, for folks who might remember, on Navigator of the Seas recently, on my ship tour, you guys probably remember that it was also amplified, right? So here, on Navigator of the Seas, you actually have the Lime and Coconut Bar, right? And you have the full Caribbean pool deck here. Adventure of the Seas has not received that amplification yet. Uh, so this is the Sky Bar, which is the original bar on board Adventure of the Seas. You also get a nice perspective from this side of the pool deck. Again, you got two pools right here. We got a couple of hot tubs back there as well. And over here, there's two covered hot tubs and two uncovered hot tubs right there, which I'll show you as I'll continue my walk around this pool deck. As you can see here, folks are just kind of hanging out. Uh, you know, for folks who do not get off the ship, they'll get a completely empty pool, plenty of lounges to choose from, right? So this is pretty cool. Look how beautiful this is, guys. And now I'm on the other side of the pool deck here, and you can see here you got two pools. You got the covered hot tubs right there to get some protection from the sun. And you have two uncovered hot tubs right there as well, right? So plenty of uh, uh, options for you and your family and your friends. And I'm just going to quick pan around here. So they have the sky bar up here on this deck, and then they have the pool bar right below it, right? So you have no shortage of bar options there, guys. What we're going to do now is actually we're going to keep walking to the back of the ship and we're going to check out the perfect storm water slides and the flow rider experience along with some other awesome activities on board. One thing I do want to mention is that if you like your morning runs or walks, this is the jogging track that wraps around the pool deck up here. Uh, definitely be mindful of other runners and joggers as you know, you're walking about, out and about. So just uh, again, this does wrap around. Uh, this is very different compared to like the Oasis class ships where they have a dedicated jogging track area. Uh, but again, this does wrap around the entire upper pool deck area here. Right? So yeah, if you like your morning runs and jogs, this is the place to do it. It's absolutely beautiful. One thing you'll notice about this ship also is like they have like these uh, angled windows, glass windows here, to help protect from the wind. Right? It can get extremely windy here. So just something, something to keep in mind. One other cool thing I've noticed is they have like these checkerboards on the floor here. And of course, on the other side, they have shuffleboards, which I'll show you guys as well. But yeah, guys, this is like the main an activity pool deck area here in the back of the ship. You got water slides, floor rider, all this awesome stuff. So let's go ahead and check Alright guys, out. here are the two perfect storm water slides. You got the cyclone and hurricane I believe. Uh, they're really cool. Uh, they have some cool lights and stuff inside. And again, I'm speaking a little loudly because the music in the background. You all just go around up the top here of these stairs. You spin all the way around, slide down to the ending right here. It is awesome. I highly recommend it. Of course, here's the awesome floor rider. Very nice. Again, this is complimentary. You can pay for a special one on one lesson, but they're very expensive. Last I checked, it was around $500 for the one hour private lesson. So, if you want to pay that kind of money, just come and enjoy a free complimentary experience here. So, be careful that you don't wipe out. Uh, you do have to sign a waiver uh, for this experience. And again, I just want to show you guys again the perfect storm water slides right there the blue and the yellow and green one. Very nice. Uh, no waivers needed for that, but yeah, you walk up those stairs and uh, it's an awesome experience, guys. You'll love it. You'll also find at the back of the ship Adventure Dunes, which is, of course, the putt-putt miniature golf experience, right? There's nine holes, lots of cool you know, twists and turns in terms of like where the ball goes. You can go through these, these ships, through a lighthouse, through, there's a castle down there. So yeah, there's uh, about six holes up here and there's more holes down in the deck below, which I'll show you in just a second. So 
you have a little here and this is actually one of my favorite holes you uh you, you basically put it up to that hole right there and actually check this out this is really cool so you got that little uh kind of like a little like a little roller coaster type of thing for the ball to go through there and then hopefully if you get lucky enough you might make the hole right there so hey guys i'm right there <laughs> so yeah they got awesome uh miniature golf experiences here at the adventure dues on board adventure of the seas and of course you have your sports court right here you get basketball competition racquetball volleyball all sorts of experiences here guys that you can come and enjoy on board adventure of the seas and like i said this is a great place to come and hang out like it's not crowded right now because most of you are off the ship but it's amazing you get the back of the slides right there you got adventure dues on this side and yeah, like I said, this is an awesome experience to come in. Really just get your game on, right? Activities galore. I love it. So just another perspective here so folks know exactly where they are. We just came down from the sports deck, right? Which of course includes the Flow Rider, the Perfect Storm, Water Slides, the Adventure Dunes, and the Rock Climbing Wall. So let's continue. Now, of course, on this side, right below the main Adventure Dunes putt by the golf course is, of course, Johnny Rockets. Now, Johnny Rockets is not a complimentary restaurant. There is an additional charge for that, but it's totally worth it. About $14.99 for all you can eat. Uh, you can get your burgers, your fries, your onion rings. Uh, shakes are an additional cost, something to keep in mind. If you want to come here, and I highly, highly recommend their milkshakes, especially the cookies and cream Oreo uh, milkshake. Uh, that one's about $7, and you can get that as a separate item as well. So I'm definitely going to get my uh, Johnny Rockets milkshake on later on for sure. I'm going to have plenty of outdoor seating here. I think it's closed right now, but there's plenty of indoor seating as well, right, guys? But again, if you're in the Caribbean and you have a nice warm climate, why not sit outside, right? I mean, you get this beautiful view of the Caribbean. It's absolutely beautiful. And again, it's so nice that it's empty right now because most folks are off the ship. So yeah, here you go. Johnny Rockets, hamburgers, fries, malt, and fountain. Oh yeah, this is a great place for sure. You can also get your ping pong on here, right next to the activity and sports court. There's your table tennis. And our folks love that. It's really competitive and it's awesome, right? So yeah, this is the ping pong area. All right, guys, here's Adventure Ocean. This is a place to come and drop off your kiddos and get them registered on your first day. Again, there's different programs and age ranges. Uh, I know there's, I think, 3 to 5 Aquanauts, 6 to 8. There's 9 to 11 as well. So definitely come check out this program option as well. So let's actually go through here. I think you'd actually enter through the arcade, which is very interesting, right? But let's go and uh, find the entrance. Actually, while we're at it, this is the arcade on board Adventure of the Seas, right? So again, uh, this is also, of course, an extra cost. Um, lots of fun activities and experiences here. I've seen this place packed, especially on sea days. Uh, there's a lot of kids on board, of course, that were you know, on summer vacation, right? So you can see here there's plenty of options. And it's a pretty pretty good size arcade, right? As I look around. You can see that they're doing our, you know, two uh, em emergency drills. Uh, that's our cruise director, Kabir. So, yeah, plenty of options. actually pretty good size arcade here right so let's go to the adventure ocean entrance. and it's actually kind of cool they have ghostbusters who are you gonna call all right and here's of course the entrance to the adventure ocean this is optics looks like this might be another menu for the kiddos and this right here this is actually part of johnny rockish from the inside if you guys want to see it it's pretty cool all right you got plenty of seating indoors you got the jukebox and all that experience there which is really nice um, but yeah, let's actually go to this side and see if we can find an entrance to Adventure Ocean and see if there's an accessible access. Okay, so Adventure Ocean is actually closed right now, and this is Optics, which is uh, connected to Adventure Ocean. But again, just another great place for your kids to come and hang out and spend some quality time with the trained, educated staff here where all parents can become parents, right? Go do adult stuff, right? So, and kids love it here. And then it's really hard to get the kids away from Adventure Ocean. So I know my daughter has loved this as well. So, yeah, definitely come and make sure you sign them up. Once you board Adventure of this, and you can see here that this is the entrance to Aquanauts. Again, it's closed right now, but there's just many entrances to the, the Adventure Ocean experiences. Actually, so you from the outside, and again, you got the outdoor sign right here. And here's these wind walkers. <laughs> Actually, it gets really windy here. Plenty of loungers everywhere you go, guys. There's no shortage of loungers, even though it's a it's a full cruise. You definitely have a some uh, opportunity to relax and rest as well. You got some tic tac toes, you got these other games on the floor here as well. You can see here, here's Adventure Ocean. You got some window, you got a window right there for the kiddos. I'm not going to record them for privacy purposes, right? There's there's Aquanauts right there, that's three to five. And then you have Explorers six to eight right here. And then on this side, as we walk past this way again, you got another tic tac toe right here. You can see 
that this is the entrance for Voyagers, 9 to 11 years old. So yeah, guys, like I said, plenty of options. Kids love the entertainment activities on board here. Make sure you sign up for Adventure Ocean if you'd like to drop your kids off and have, have, them have a great time as well. So there you go, guys. Right, guys I just want to give you another perspective of the pool deck from Deck 12. And again, you have that big movie theater screen right there. Uh, they had a lot of movie under the stars and other awesome uh, entertainment shows that are being displayed on that screen right there. As you can see here, on port days, a lot of folks, well, some folks don't get off, and you can see why, right? It's completely empty. So if you like to have empty pools and pool decks, this is uh, the you know, day to stay on. You can get off, obviously, but maybe earlier on you can just hang on the ship for a little bit before getting off, which is, of course, what I'm going to be doing. So let's go to the front of the ship on deck 12, and I'll show you some of the cool experiences there as well. Hey, guys, there's a turtle right there. Second. Zoom in here. There it is. Look at that turtle. Thomas the turtle. Hanging out in St. Croix. Love it. Alright guys, now we are on deck 13. And before I show you guys deck 13, I just want to point out the solarium here as well, which I'll give you another perspective in just a bit. I think that's on deck 11. Uh, let's walk up here again. This is the front of the ship. Uh, you got some other wind uh, windows here to make sure it doesn't get too windy for the folks out here hanging out, enjoying the sun. And again, lots of space, lots of room here. Uh, usually you usually won't find this area too packed on sea days. I've noticed that uh, the pool deck is also very packed. But a lot of people don't come up here, right? Just because, well, either they don't know about it or they just they want to be next to like all the action of the party. But if you want to get some relaxation and some quiet here, this is where you want to come. And again, Look how big this is. Look at look this huge space right here, guys. If you want some shade, you just go there. Right, and again, this is, of course, at the very front of the ship, and I'm going to give you a nice shot of St. Croix, the U.S. Virgin Islands. Check it out. Here we are. St. Croix. Got to love it. Absolutely beautiful day. Very hot and humid, but we'll take it. All right, now we're looking down at the adult-only solarium. Again, this is for 16 and over only. And I've definitely spent quite a bit of time here on this cruise so far. Again, there's no extra cost to this experience. But you got this lovely pool here. And again, my spot was like right there. I sat there like right underneath the umbrella. Talked to some amazing cruisers. Had some amazing conversation. And I uh, got to learn more about them. They got to learn more about me. And yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. We've been talking back-to-back -back sea days. And we spent hours and hours here having laughs, engaging in great conversation, or drinks and everything. It was awesome. So... Uh, for the folks who are watching that, or who are with me in the solarium, uh, if you guys are watching this, hey guys, miss y'all, and I uh, hope you are doing great and enjoying this tour. Um, but yeah, this is the solarium, guys. Again, that is on deck 11. I'm currently on deck 12. And what we're going to do next is we're actually going to go here. We're going to actually go to this upper area. Again, this will be classified as deck 13, going up the stairs. And just another perspective of the beautiful pool deck, right? So you can come out here, hang out, plenty of areas to sunbathe and just relax. I mean, look at this. Right, this is awesome to come and get your tan on. <laughs> right, you got the beautiful view right here of the entire pool deck. How beautiful is that, guys? Look at that. All right, we're gonna head over to the Blue Moon and the fight or the Viking Crown Lounge, or uh, the the old saying goes, uh, soon. Right, but we're gonna go down to the pool deck first and uh, check that out as All well. Right. All right, now we are on deck 11. This is the main pool deck area. Again, you got two pools. One is open right now. One is closed. A lot of due to the just the you know the amount of people that aren't using it, but. Uh, you got your two hot tubs that are covered right there, as I mentioned. You got two open hot tubs over there as well, which I'll take you in just a second. But you guys sent plenty of you know loungers here. Again, it gets very, very busy here on sea days, as you can imagine. All the lounges are pretty much taken. Uh, but if you can get here early enough, get your spot, you should be okay. And here are the other hot tubs. Like I said, empty right now because everyone's off the ship. But you know, hot tubs have been pretty busy this cruise, surprisingly, even though it's extremely hot. But I would say definitely at night they're a bit more popular. Uh, because right now it's like it's like 90 degrees and 90 percent humidity i don't know if i want to be in a hot tub right now i'd want to be in the pool cooling off right so and of course here you have splash away bay this is for the the kiddos right the baby splash zone uh kids will love this this place is always busy kids are constantly lining up and enjoying the slides having a wonderful time and now we're gonna go to one of my favorite spots on the pool deck here on deck 11. let's go check it out any guesses all right if you guessed the saucer of ice cream you are correct this is the Arctic Zone. Again, the line gets super long here, especially on sea days. But you guys, they have some amazing, delicious ice cream here. They got vanilla, they got chocolate, they got the twist or the swirl, which is like a vanilla and uh, chocolate mix, right? And I always get the swirl because I love it. But yeah, guys, definitely come check out the Arctic Zone on deck 11 on the pool deck. It is awesome and delicious. All right, guys, here's the towel station. This is where you're going to come and check out a towel or two for your families. 
And the one thing I keep in mind, guys, you have to come back and return your towel here or it is a $25 charge on your onboard account. So something to keep in mind, don't keep the towels, make sure you return them. Uh, and everyone, you have your life jackets here for the kiddos, you got the lifeguard station right here. And again, life jackets, they have them in all sizes for uh, infant, child, and youth, right? So definitely find out what's most appropriate for your kiddos and then uh, let them have fun in the water. Amazing experience. All right, guys, now we are going into the solarium. And as you can see here, it's 16 plus only. This is one of my favorite spots on board, the Adventure of the Seas. I've been here every morning, hanging out for a couple hours, chatting it up with cruisers. It's been phenomenal. The drinks are amazing. Uh, and you're going to get plenty of seating here. One thing I do uh, mention is that it does get really busy here. So if you don't get here early enough, it will be very challenging to find a chair for your towel on. Right? I don't even sit on the chairs. I just need a place for my towel and my belongings, right? Um, you can see here, it's because it's a port day, there's like no one here except, you know, one, one cruiser, right? Uh, and again, you got your bar right here. Very awesome. Get, I always get my drinks here. Let's see, today's drink of the day is a blue wave. Okay, I'll get that later for sure. Um, but again, beautiful space. There's my spot right over there under the left umbrella right there next on the left of the lifeguard. He's really awesome. And again, I've, had, I've enjoyed my time here in the hot tubs. Both hot tubs and the pool quite a bit. The solarium is amazing. To, again, it's more peaceful, more quiet. Less rowdy than the pool deck for sure, guys. Definitely come check out the solarium. And again, look at this beautiful view we have of St. Croix. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, love it. Now, here's one of the secrets on board Adventure of the Seas the Peekaboo Bridge. As you can see here, Peekaboo Bridge. Again, this is deck 11, forward, port side in the solarium. All right, so let's. I was here last night, but it was a little windy. So I don't. It, I hope it's open now. It is open. Yes. Okay. Cool. So this is actually called Peekaboo Bridge, and you can actually come and see what the captain and senior staff members are doing on board this amazing ship. So let's go check it out. Oh, this weird feels so nice, guys. Hopefully, it's not draining on my audio as much thanks to the microphone. But uh, yeah, let's go check out this awesome Peekaboo Bridge, guys. This is it. <laughs> I love it. Again, you get another awesome perspective here, and again, here's. Here's the Peekaboo Bridge. Again, deck 11, forward, port side, right outside the solarium. Here you go, guys. This is where we do the Peekaboo. It's really windy. Here you go, guys. So this is... There it is. It's hard to see with all the reflection. But there's, there's a gentleman right there. I don't know if you can see the... Some of the devices and stuff. And of course, there's a the helipad right there. Again, the reflection is making it a little hard to see. But again, this is the Peekaboo Bridge. Definitely come check it out again. Deck 11, forward, port side. The Peekaboo Bridge. Right here. Voila. Actually, there's some information here too. Here you go, the bridge. You're standing just above one of the most advanced navigational bridges on any ship afloat. In fact, the world's newest nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the USS Harry Truman, has the same basic navigation system as Adventure of the Seas. Wow, look at that, guys. So you got the port bridge, wing console, administration center, emergency plotting table. And up here you got, just take a quick look at that. Pretty cool. Navigation control center, the helm global plotting system, satellite positioning systems, radio console, like this is super advanced for sure. All right, so I'll take a, I'll take a picture of this as well and I'll share it at some point. But um, yeah, this is pretty cool guys. Again, Peekaboo Ridge, come check out next at Peekaboo. All right, we are on deck 14 now and this is the blue moon or that cool looking kind of a spaceship looking venue on board Adventure of the Seas. Again, this used to be called the Viking Crown Lounge, but now it's called the blue moon. Again, this is a great place to come and get amazing views of the pool deck and the ship, right? And again, it's very spacious, floor to ceiling windows. This is definitely one of my favorite places to come and hang out and relax on board this beautiful ship. Let's check out the views from the blue moon. See here, amazing. As I pan around, here is why I love this place. Check this out. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, so this is a great place to come and hang out relax, get a drink at the bar. They also have some special events here. There's like dancing, you got the strobe lights and everything here as well. It's really nice. And yeah, just there was an announcement that came out, so I had to turn it off for a little bit. But uh, yeah, so you got the bar right there on your left here. And then again, here's your 
kind of a stage and like a little dance floor here that you can enjoy uh, the you know, evening events and other. They had the silent disco here, the hush party, uh, hush silent disco, where you basically with those you know headphones, blue and green color, and each color has a different music tune, and you dance to it and sing to it. So it's not really silent, but it's pretty nice. Also, want to mention the Diamond Club, which is like the Diamond Lounge. Again, this is specifically for Diamond and above members. So Diamond, Diamond Plus, and Pinnacle. Uh, once you hit 80 points or 80 nights at sea on Royal Caribbean, you become Diamond, and I would say that is one of the biggest, uh, one of the best uh, statuses that you can have on any cruise line. They really take great care of you in the Crown and Anchor Society with Royal Caribbean. I love this status. And this is the Diamond Club. Again, this is specifically for Diamond and above members. Diamond, Diamond Plus, and Pinnacle. And this is where the concierge Montserrat sits here. You can see here, you got it it's set up ready to go. And there's a quick pan around. You'll see here that there's a decent sized space, um, plenty of you know, beautiful views, comfortable furniture. I actually did my live from, on YouTube from here yesterday for those who joined. So thank you so much for joining. And another nice thing about the Diamond Lounge is you also have access to a computer, printer needs if you, have, you know if you need it, um, but also the spread, right? So you got you can come here for breakfast every day. They have bites throughout the day in the evening as well. Some drinks. You have fruit salad, parfait. Uh, croissant uh, and some other light rice in it as well, right? And of course, you have this awesome espresso morning, again, coffee machine. machine. Mentioning uh, before the announcement came on that they had this really advanced espresso coffee machine, which you don't really find anywhere else on the ship, right? So, this is much more advanced than the one in the Cafe Promenade. You got your water, you got your juices here, and again, washi washi right there, right? So, again, this is the Diamond Lounge, really nice. And now we're gonna head out to another little. You might be wondering why are most of the stairs in blue carpet, and why is this one in red carpet? That is because this is the chapel, the Skylight Chapel on board the Adventure of the Sea. So if you're getting married on board, this is where you can get your entrance. Now, of course, it's closed right now, but imagine a very nice venue with you know, flowers and a stand and seats for your family and friends to gather and witness your special event. Again, this is the Skylight Chapel. Again, this is Deck 15. Also on Deck 14, you'll find the Suite Lounge. Again, this is for anyone who's booking a suite or higher. Um, and so, yeah, definitely I can't access this because I'm not in a suite. But this is where you want to come in, enjoy your suite experiences on board this beautiful ship. Another thing I also want to mention is that on board Adventure of the Seas, there's this one really, really, really special room. It's called the Royal Suite. There's only one of these on board. It's pretty expensive. But if you are celebrating a special occasion, like in this case, the folks that are staying here, uh, they're celebrating their birthday. This is an amazing room. It's got some like doorbell. Uh, this is room 16 and 20. And again, this is where you can, I mean, there's this massive, there's a, there's a piano. There's just, it's, just, it's, a, it's a really nice uh, room, which I can't tour because I'm not in it, but it's pretty awesome, guys. Like I said, this is the ultimate accommodation on board Adventure of the seas. Here on Deck 8, you have Royal Caribbean Online, which is basically like an internet cafe. So let's go ahead and check it out. You'll notice here that there's plenty of computer options and seats. If you need to check email or do anything else online, you can come and take care of those needs here as well. And there's no cost to use this, from my understanding, right? This all included. And if you look down here, we'll go down there in just a second, but that is the card and library room. So, but again, this is the internet. FA or Royal Caribbean Online on board Adventure of the Seas. And again, the view is pretty impressive. And here's the view from the Royal Caribbean Online location on Deck 8. Looking down at the promenade. Promenade is Deck 5, and we're currently on Deck 8. So yeah, this is pretty cool. And here on Deck 7, you have the library. And if you look around here, you'll notice that you have another, again, another awesome view of the promenade. And over here, you have your library book collection, right? So these are all see on show and display. So I don't think you can actually check these out specifically. But as I pan around here, you notice that there's some books in the corner there. And of course, you have games. You have other options as well on board location. And here on deck six, as we look at, again at the Royal Promenade, you have Next Cruise. Now, Next Cruise, which again, it's hard to see here, but Next, next Cruise, <laughs> this is where you can come and get uh, your next cruise book on board Adventure of the Seas. These lovely folks will come and help you out. Uh, you can get some immediate benefits right away, like put down your deposit for your next cruise, but also you get immediate benefits like onboard credit and some other experiences as well. So yeah, definitely come check out the folks. Awesome. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. There you go. There's the experts right there. <laughs> so yeah, definitely come check out Nice Cruise for your next uh, cruise on board Royal Caribbean. This is awesome. I want to give you just some additional details, right? So it's right here. Book on board. Save up to $600. Two ways to book. One incredible offer. Up to $600 off or up to $600 on board credit. And again, it's based on the room that you book. Uh, so you can see it says book a future world Caribbean adventure here on board with the next cruise team 
they will enjoy exclusive savings not available on land. And the best part, no immediate commitment to choose a ship or sail date is necessary. That means more flexibility and more World Caribbean vacation memories. Choose how to book now or book later. All right, so you can see you can book now, secure booking, get $100 per person reduced deposit, or you can book later and you get, you get a you know, reduced deposit for only $200 per stateroom, right? So uh, it's up to you, but definitely come check them out, guys. Like I said, here's some of the savings and some of the benefits. Again, all based on the length of the cruise and the room that you book. That's the kind of uh, onboard credit you get. So if I were doing this today, I would do a six to nine nights and a balcony. So we would get automatic $100 onboard credit. All right, Pretty guys, cool. we are now on deck five, and I'm going to give you this beautiful perspective of this gorgeous dining room, the Sapphire Dining Room. Again, this is where you have your formal night dinners or casual dinners. This is the main dining room. There's only one main dining room on board Adventure of the Seas, but it's a three deck dining room. And it's deck three, deck four, and deck five. And look how beautiful this is. I'll give you guys this perspective as well. This is again deck five. Uh, the difference between the decks is on deck three, it's the my time dining section. Deck four and five, you have the, the early seating and the late seating as well, but look at this. Look how beautiful this. And again, I'll give you another perspective as I get down to level three. But this is from deck five of the Sapphire Dining Room. And again, I look down, check it out. I'm getting ready for lunch and then dinner later on tonight as well. This is absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favorite dining rooms. I love what they've done with Voyager class ships. It's really, really nice. All right, guys. Now we are on one of my favorite locations on board Adventure of the Seas, the Royal Promenade. This is basically uh, an amazing venue location on board that has just uh, restaurants, shops, uh, you know, pubs, experiences, bars. It's really awesome. All right, guys, right at the entrance of the Royal Promenade on Deck 5 is, of course, the original Champagne Bar. Uh, so, of course, they have plenty of champagne options here as well. But also, this is just a great venue to come and relax, hang out, and get your drink on. It's really something awesome. There's the bar right there for the Champagne Bar. Again, a great, great experience. I've been here a few times already, including my YouTube lives. Definitely come check this out, guys. The Champagne Bar is awesome. And for folks who may remember, on Navigator of the Seas, this was changed from the Champagne Bar to the R Bar, right? But the, they kept the Champagne Bar as the original here on board Adventure of the Seas. Right across the Champagne Bar on Deck 5, again, right at the main entrance of the Royal Promenade, is your short excursions desk. So you can ask your questions here, get your short excursions booked as well. Make sure you keep in mind of the, the hours of operation, right? Because they're not here all day. And of course, right next to short excursions, you have guest services, right? So um these are the awesome folks who'll take care of you with any questions you have and everything so definitely uh come check them out guys they're really good at what they do and i couldn't enter the royal promenade until i give you this awesome perspective of this view looking up yeah. amazing love it they've done such a good job with this ship i love it it's absolutely beautiful all right, guys, as we enter the Royal Promenade, you'll see that there's an interesting statue of some kind here. You got, I'm not really sure what this is, but if anyone knows what this is, please comment below and let me know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, here we go. We're going to enter the Royal Promenade. As I mentioned, you got gift shops, you got restaurants, you got pubs, you got places to eat. It's really nice, right? So you have gifts and jewelry. Again, this is all duty free. It's all closed right now because we're at port. And I'm going to speak a little bit louder just because the music is really loud. Um, again, you got shops right there. You got another shop right here. On the right side, you have Izumi, which is a specialty restaurant. So if you like your sushi, make sure you come and check out Izumi. It's absolutely amazing, right? Here's the Royal Caribbean store, as you can tell by the, by the logo. It's really nice. And then here you have the Duck and Dog Pub. This is a very, very lively place, very happening. Awesome experience here as well to come and check out with your live music. And just awesome experience. The drinks are amazing here as well, guys. You have the perfume and cosmetics store. And of course, you'll notice here that there's some windows. And these are actually promenade view interior rooms, right? So you can keep a watch if you like, right? Um, then you have your Coke style machines right there. So if you get your tumblers, you got the soda package, you can do that as well. And of course, now we're going to get to one of my favorite areas on board this specific venue, the promenade. It is Cafe Promenade. Now, before I get there, of course, let me show you Ben and Jerry's. Uh, extra cost of the ice cream here. You can see here that you can have a small cup for 250 um, and there are definitely a lot of options here as well, guys. But if you don't want to pay for ice cream, uh, you can go to the pool deck, like I mentioned, a soft serve place. And also at the, you know, the buffet may also option, offer uh, ice cream as well. But this is special Ben & Jerry's ice cream. So yeah, come and get your sweet treat on, guys. They also have like a coffee kind of cafe location here as well. These guys are excellent at what they do. They got a few Starbucks options as well. Again, all extra costs, right? And again, uh, the drink package is not include this coffee, nor does your diamond drinks, etc. So it is an extra cost here. 
one thing that's what kind of cool is that they have like these like cool like decors on the wall you'll see like this like gentleman like kind of standing up there and then you have you know this is where they did like the 70s dance party and you know <laughs> ymca and all that kind of stuff so you have people on those uh railings and stuff and you just have like the decor is really cool uh, a little bit you know old school compared to like navigator to the seas but this is really nice as well yeah, the decor is really phenomenal here guys again adventure of the seas so now as i give you this awesome view and perspective here let's go ahead and head to this area here which is called the imperial lounge right, guys here's the main entrance to the imperial lounge again this is just another venue on board that you can come and enjoy uh game shows karaoke right but before we go that one should real quickly on the right side there's the card room now, for folks who may remember who seen my Navigator of the Seas video, this was the Diamond Lounge on Navigator of the Seas. Again, they're both Voyager class ships. On Adventure of the Seas, the Diamond Lounge is up in the blue moon like that, you know, spaceship looking venue, right? But here, it's the card room. But again, I actually prefer the Diamond Lounge up higher. So, and because you got those floor to ceiling views, right? So it's really nice. Um, here's the Imperial Lounge, right? Again, this is a great venue, like I mentioned, for karaoke, entertainment dancing, trivia, bingo, like they do all sorts of stuff here, right? Uh, you got the you got the bar, of course, there's no venue without a bar. But look at the spacing of this, guys, it's really nice. And you can see here, plenty of seating and options, but these places, this place does get packed, uh, just so you know, right? Because some of these events are very, very popular, so that's something to keep in mind. But yeah, this is the Imperial Lounge. You know, on deck four, you have the classic schooner bar. Again, this is a nautical themed venue on board every world cruise ship. This is a place where there's live music, a live piano player, uh, it's uh, this is the place to be if you like live music and it's a great experience a great vibe every night drinks are flowing the music's are people are having a great time they're singing and everything right so definitely come and check out the schooner bar on board adventure of here's one of the specialty restaurants on board adventure chops grill if you like your steak this is where you want to come and enjoy yourself you can see some of the menu options here if you guys want to pause the video and take a quick look at that if you're looking here obviously it's closed right now but you can see it's very, very elegant, especially restaurants. So they'll take good care of you here for sure. I personally have been here because I'm vegetarian, but uh, I've heard some great things about Chops. So you can see the there's also overflow sitting here on the outside of Schooner Bar because it gets really, really packed. You can come and enjoy yourself here as well. Uh, now we're going to go inside the Casino Royale. Right now, of course, it's closed right now because we're at port. And hopefully the smoke smell isn't too strong. Right, but you can see here we got Plenty of slot machines, you got your table games, you got your bar, of course. There's no casino without a bar, right, guys? So um, I'm just going to do a quick walk around here because the music's very loud. Um, you see your table games right there. You got some cool statues and stuff right here, which is awesome, right? So hopefully I'll get to you know, keep this clip unless, you know, it'll be, like, copyrighted with YouTube. But, yeah, guys, this is the casino on board, Adventure of the Seas. And as you see, that's not the main entrance. The main entrance is actually on this side. So it's pretty cool, right? So let's go and check this out. And you got this gentleman welcoming right, you guys. Here's the Boleros bar. This is like the Latin theme bar. And again, you get your dance on here to Latin music. It's a lot of fun. This place is always hopping at night. Uh, you got plenty of seating over here. And of course, if you go over this side, you'll notice that there's um, some overflow seating on that side as well. Because the music's so loud, you can really hear from anywhere. Um, one thing I do want to show you guys real quickly is this beautiful like uh, decor here, Onboard Adventure. Um, I'm just going to go downstairs in just a second. But check this out. Like, isn't this awesome? Look how pretty that is. Now we're on deck three, and of course, this is where Studio B is located. Of course, it's closed right now because they're practicing for tonight's ice show performance. So definitely come to Studio B and get you know get your ice skating on. It's just you do have to sign a waiver, uh, so just something to keep in mind. But there's free ice skating, but also don't miss the ice skating show. It's absolutely awesome. And of course, right next to Studio B is you have the photo gallery, right? Now, of course, here this on this side actually is the art gallery, right? So you can they have art auctions and you know things of that nature on board. You can buy amazing pieces of artwork. On this side, you have the Focus Photo Gallery, right? So uh, come and you know, pick up your memories that you've made throughout your cruise with your family and friends and then take them home and you can cherish them forever, right, guys? And again, there's, of course, an additional cost to the photos as well. I just wanted to make sure you guys know that this is on Deck 3 next to Studio B. One of my favorite areas on board Adventure of the Seas is on Deck 4, either side, outside. Again, it's very hot and humid right now, but I do want to let you guys know that you can actually walk the entire ship from front to back. Uh, right now we're kind of forward and i'll show you guys the helipad here in just a second but um yeah we'll take a nice little walk to the back as well so you guys kind of know what's going on there but again we're in st croix u.s virgin islands today you can see it's absolutely beautiful um keep in mind that on deck four you want to look for these stairs all the way forward this is what's going to lead you to the helipad so let's go check it out all right guys once you make your way up the stairs and keep walking a little bit more forward you will get to the awesome helipad and again this is the perfect sail away experience this is where you want to come and hang out and it's very windy. Uh, 
it can be really hot and humid like it's been for us this whole cruise, but we're running up right here, but I want to show you guys this experience. It's really awesome. All right, so you walk up these stairs, and again, this is the one thing I highly recommend to everyone. I mentioned this in my Facebook group as well, and also all across my platforms. Come here late at night and stargaze. Trust me, you won't believe what you will see. I saw Saturn, I saw a shooting star, I saw hundreds and hundreds of stars just up in the sky. It's absolutely beautiful, guys. And again, you could do your kind of a you know, Jack impersonation right here, right? You're king of the world. So this is the king of the world uh, platform right there. As I turn around, you'll see the beautiful helipad location. Check it out, guys. And again, this is a must experience. You got to come here at least once during your cruise, ideally during sail away, and also late at night for stargazing. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, as we continue our journey on deck four, again, this is the outside deck that you can experience the breeze of the ocean and everything. The views are amazing. You get also these shuffleboard options as well. There's your shuffleboard equipment right there. So have a lot of fun with your family and friends. It's a lot of fun. And you can see there's like another shuffleboard option as well. So what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to walk around that turn and we're going to see the back of the ship as well. All right, guys, we've reached the side of the ship here. And this is the turn that I was mentioning in the previous clip. And as you walk out here, and again, a lot of folks don't know about this because they usually just go forward. <clears throat> Excuse me, but uh, you come here and you can experience the back of the ship. And for folks who know me well, you guys know I love my, you know, I love the aft. <laughs> I love the wake view, which is the best view. All right, and again, you have another shuffleboard game set up here. But yeah, so this will take you directly to the back and uh, let's go check it out. All right, we have reached the back of the ship, guys. This is the furthest you can go. You see that there's like a lot of crew area here. Uh, every night or every day, I see all I see all the crew members down there. That's their kind of hangout area. And then here we have a beautiful view of the ship from the back. And you can see here the lines are tied right there. And again, folks watching, this is Saint Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands. Today is Tuesday. July 18th, 2023. Right, same toy. Okay, guys, this wraps all the way around, and you can just make a nice little walk. And then, again, you can, you can jog here as well if you like. Just be careful of any slippery uh, you know, floors. Uh, you don't want to slip, right, and fall. So, um, but yeah, this is absolutely beautiful, guys. There's this area of the ship. I love it. You can see here one of the benefits of you know port days is crew members will do some lifeboat drills as well, right? They basically test the lifeboat, make sure everything is working out okay. You see the lifeboat down there, right? They basically they gotta make sure all the systems everything are working. They do the drill just in case of a real emergency, right? They always have to continue testing and everything, right? So that's that's pretty cool. And as I mentioned, guys, you can see uh, both sides of the ship. You can come on either side and. Yeah, beautiful views of the ocean, right? The breeze, straight ahead. You can see way out there. That's the, that's the you know steps up to a helipad. So yeah, definitely come check out Deck Four, guys. It's absolutely amazing. Don't miss All right, it. guys, just gonna give you kind of experience as to what's happening today in the Royal Promenade. Again, it's really cool that I have they have a zoomie here on the promenade, which is the first time I've seen they have a zoomie here in the promenade. Again, this is their sushi place, which is really cool. <coughs> Shops again, we're at sea now, international waters. So, if this everything's open, the casino I think might be open as well. Take a quick look here. Yeah, they got them open here. Very nice, just an experience here. This is a, they did a parade here earlier. As you guys, if you guys saw my YouTube live from Sail Away, you guys saw that there was a parade here as well. So, it's pretty cool. We got a nice gentleman here playing a guitar. Very nice. I'm gonna grab a pizza because I'm really hungry. I'll keep me good till dinner at least. At the Cafe Promenade. You gotta love it. Oh, this is like old school. Like, this is hella old school. Look at that. This is awesome. I got the interior promenade rooms. Very nice. I got a nice selection of sandwiches here at the Cafe Promenade. I got tomatoes, buffalo, mozzarella, and pesto. Three cheese sandwich, tuna spread focaccia, roasted turkey, tortilla wrap. And then they got the cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza. And how long does it take for the veggie pizza? Veggie, then pizza. Ten minutes? Is it the whole pizza or just one slice? Okay, uh, can I just get uh, one cheese slice, please? Hey guys, I'm gonna head back to the main dining room. But I just wanna show you this cool classic car, which is one of the uh, staples for the Royal Caribbean promenade area, which is really nice. 
I love this guitar music. It's so peaceful, guys. Like everyone's having a wonderful evening, uh, getting ready for an amazing meal, a fun night ahead. It's really nice. And look at this cool decor. Actually, this is probably related to the, the parade they had earlier, which is really nice. So, like, and of course, you have Ben and Jerry's right here. Very nice. We got Cherry Garcia, Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough, Chunky Monkey. Oh, wow, they got some good options here. I'm gonna have to come back and get some. Because Ben and Jerry's can't go wrong. Alright. You got your Coke machines right there. Again, it's a beautiful evening. Uh, wonderful uh, first day. I love the decor here. It's like really nice. Again, downstairs is a Casino Royale. As you can see here, Izumi has gotten busier for dinner. Again, this is a sushi place on board. If you like your sushi, Izumi's the place to come, guys. Again, shops are hopping as well, which is really nice. Uh, this is beautiful. Yeah, Izumi. I've never seen an Izumi on the Royal Promenade. It's kind of cool. So yeah, very nice. Look how beautiful this is, guys. I love it. I love these promenades on adventure, uh, Voyage of Class ships. They're so great. Let's this cool perspective here at the end of the promenade. Again, this is after the ship. How awesome is that? that is so cool. I love it. So there's something about these cruise ships that this is super elegant. It's very nice. You know, I can guess this is always busy on the first day, it feels like. I think I'm on deck five right now. There's deck three. Deck four is right there. Deck five. No problem. Look how beautiful this uh, deck four is here. Very nice. I'm gonna go check it for my guys. Guy. I just got back from outside. It was so windy, so pardon the hair. Uh, but I just want to stop by the Windjammer Buffet real quick just to kind of get an idea as to how busy it is during dinner. And it's not busy. This place is empty during dinner time. Just give you perspective, look how empty this place is. Like during other meals, this place is packed. Breakfast, lunch, you name it, right? But look, the whole area is like completely empty. It's amazing because everyone's at the main dining room, right? Or they're going to specialty restaurants. So there's no one at the buffet during dinner. So if you want an empty experience, come during dinner. Here's some of the perspective of the back of the Windjammer Buffet that it's not busy at all. Uh, you can see here. One thing I noticed is that the Indian food options are the same here as they are in the main dining room, which makes sense, right? So for example, I had this uh, okra curry dish tonight. It was delicious, but they also have it here as well. So um, yeah, the, this is uh, empty. So if you want to come and have a great experience without the crowds at the buffet, come during dinner. All right, guys, so Studio B, this is the ice skating rink. And again, this is where they have the show Cool Art Hot Ice. Let's go check it out. And washi washi, very happy. <laughs> Thank you. You can see here that they're getting ready for the show. Let's go down over here. Got a nice perspective. Check it out. See so yeah, they're getting ready for the nice show. It starts in about 25 minutes. And again, definitely recommend early seating. Uh, first come, first serve. Try to get some good seats for this amazing show. So definitely check it out. And a special shout out to all my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much for your additional support. If you'd like to become a Patreon or YouTube member, I'll include the links in the description below. It's basically a behind the scenes view of Cruising with JT and special access to various benefits and perks and inside information into my upcoming videos. So if you do decide to join, I truly appreciate your support. This video is sponsored by MEI Travel. Feel free to reach out to me at cruisingwithjt at gmail.com and I'll get you connected to my travel agent at MEI Travel. She'll take great care of you. And I'll also include the information in the description below. Thank you so much.